Has this happened to you? We have a five minute fix, starting now. Okay, so you can see what's happened here is over time the the wires on this have stretched or whatnot and it's pulled away from the plug-in and when it first started I wasn't real worried about it obviously it's not water type it's usually up inside of a box um, but the last time we went camping if you wiggled it you could kind of hear some sparking up inside the head so it's time to get this thing replaced before it gets any worse so what we're going to do, we have a Campco mini uh, replacement plug for this. And you have to watch when you go buy these, if your camper has uh, a storage door that your cord goes into, this mini one's about the only one that's going to fit inside that storage door. So you got to make sure you get the right one. And this is for a 30 amp. Uh, ours is a travel trailer. If you have a fifth wheel or a travel trailer with more than one air conditioner, you probably more than likely have a 50 amp and I'm sure you'll know that um, but you'll have to order the right one for what your camper has and I'll include a link down below for this product on Amazon and in case you need it for your trailer so let's get started okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this old head off of here and I have my set of Lyman pliers here and we will try to get him in there and try to clip him off. Okay. Just like that. Alright, so we have him cut off. Alright. The next thing we gotta do, we gotta cut back some of this rubber coating onto it. And uh, so we can go ahead and we can expose those wires. So I have a little knife here. You gotta try not to cut too deep. You don't want to cut into the coating of those internal wires. And sometimes it's best to go ahead and cut lengthwise first. Cause that way you're not cross cutting those wires. And once we get that opened up here, Okay, and this stuff is pretty tough. Be careful not to cut yourself. All right. Now they put this like rope that they put inside of it to help kind of support the cable so if you're pulling on the cable and stuff that hopefully it tries to eliminate some of that stretch we gotta cut him all out of there okay so there we go ahead we've got all that cut back it gives us exposure to our wires now we have to strip these wires our black is our hot wire, white's our neutral, and the greenish colored one, that's our ground. So we'll have to keep note of those for when we wire up this plug. Okay, so this here's the plug-in. It's got a nice little grip to be able to grab it and unplug it, which is nice. Our old one did not have that, as you saw earlier. But how we get into this, we go ahead and we take the, the screws out of these, and these are Phillips screws in these.
All right. I'll be careful. Sometimes these screws will fall out. Looks like the bottom ones might stay in. Top ones might fall out. All right. So we'll keep track of those so we don't lose them. Okay. So inside here, this is kind of nice. Not all uh, replacement plugs ends will have this, but they actually have it color coded in here by the color of the screw. So the black one will take our black wire, the plain screw will take our neutral, which is the white, and the green will take our ground on here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to strip off that coating. I'm not cutting all the way through, I'm just trying to cut the coating on it so I can pull off that plastic coating and expose that wire. Then once that's exposed, we're going to give that a little twist to kind of help hold those wires together. Just like that. So now we do the same thing to the other two. Okay, so you can see I've cut down my positive and my neutral wire and left the, the green one longer so that we can all fit right up inside here and everyone will be happy. Okay, you see I've taken one of the screws out here, the, the strap that holds it down, just try to make this all a little bit easier. And I went ahead and shortened up my positive and my neutral wire, left my ground long so that you can see that everybody will fit in here and be nice and cozy and there won't be too much exposed wire anywhere. So let me go ahead and I'll go ahead and get that in here and show you what it's like when it's done. Okay, you can see I got my wires all tightened down and I got my, my clamp uh, tightened up on my cable. And you have to make sure that you don't have any stray wires or anything in here touching or could make contact with something. You don't want any of that going on in there. Um, just make sure you, you got a nice clean separation between your lugs. Your ground is tight and uh, everything's good there. So we should be able to go ahead and we should put our cover on and we can wrap this up. Okay, there we go. Now keep in mind, they say these are not waterproof. I don't think any of them actually are waterproof. Um, you, these are usually inside of an electrical box, so that's usually not an, an issue. Or if you do have a surge protector that it hangs down, you know, the way it hangs, it does have a little lip around here to kind of try to keep the water out of it if it's sitting straight up the way that it's supposed to be. Okay, folks. So this here was a pretty simple fix. I think most anybody could do this. And I really like this product that they color coded the inside uh, for what wires went where. And the reason I say that is because your surge protectors and things that you buy for these, they will tell you if you have an open neutral or if you're wired wrong. Um, because it's important. You want to make sure you have power coming to your camper the way that it's intended to come to it. Um, if it's not, you're going to end up having problems with your air conditioner burning out or uh, breakers tripping and j just weird, funny things going on. You want nice, clean power coming into your camper and making sure that everything's wired right is the first step in doing that. So, Also as well, I always suggest to use a surge protector. All in all, I'm happy with it and I hope to get years of service from this. So, If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you out there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe below.